boy on that play shit. All right, y'all, here again with another video, getting straight into it, pretty much answering this person, you know, question through email. Pretty much a long story short, their ex, now newly ex, wanted them to wait three months for them to, I guess, for this person to heal in question. So according to this email, the person is telling me within that three months time frame, their ex been pretty much exploring. They want to know what can they do and should they wait to rekindle. All right, okay, let's get into it. First of all, you already know what I'm gonna say. Hell no, you don't wait. What the fuck you waiting for? You don't wait. You don't put your life on hold because somebody need to figure out answer and have answers and all that stuff. When they tell you they want space, they want time, space away from your ass to go experiment, go out into the world, and nine times out of 10, they're gonna be a hoe. You think people gonna go out, leave off from you, have space away from you, and go read their Bible, and you know, go on this, you know, this journey to find themselves? No. What they mean is, you stay on the back burner. If I can't find the one equal to you or better, then yeah, I'll come back to you. That's what that means. So in the meantime, they want you to wait, be stuck, be at a standstill. That what you don't do. That's a hell no, no. That's a position of weakness. You got to operate from a position of power and show people you can live life without them. So you like, OK, you want space. You want time to find yourself. Well, go find yourself. You're going to find yourself without me. That's what you're going to find. You're going to find that I'm not fucking there. That's what you're going to find. You're going to find some other off-brand ass person that's not me. And hey, more power to you. Remember, the most important person in this whole situation is you. You got to think of me, myself, and I. I come first. Because at the end of the day, if you don't take care of yourself, who will? Who will? Like I always say, you have to show them you can live life without them. You don't beg, you don't plead, you don't cry, you don't have a heart attack, you don't do none of this stuff to show people that, hey, I'm here for you and all that type of stuff. After that three month time period and stuff like that, they're gonna be calling you, breadcrumbing you to keep you standing still and giving, feeding you hope. That's another way of saying breadcrumb, feeding you hope. You know, just playing on your emotions. You know, having you with that false relief that someday we are gonna get back together. See, the reason why they need you to stay that way is because you a safety net for them. You a safety net for their home. They're gonna grow out into the world. They're gonna swallow all this sperm and semen. They're gonna come back to you four pounds heavier with semen in their stomach. You know, they're going to go find the most dysfunctional ass person and let that dysfunctional ass person nut all on their skin and all that stuff. Smell their breath. Watch it smell like nut. It's going to smell like semen. It's going to smell like death. Don't do it. Do not place yourself in a position of weakness. In your email, you say this person is messing around and cheating on you. You know they're going out in the world cheating on you. If they cheat on you, this is my formula for that. If they go out into the world and they cheat on you for with God knows who, we don't care with who, you tell whoever that person is, look, if they cheat, you know, if they, if they cheat on you, whoever they cheat with, let that person have them. And it's like, okay, you cheat on me with Tyrone from the liquor store. Okay, you Tyrone problem now. Take your monkey ass right back over there to Tyrone at the liquor store and you his now. You his property. You belong to him. If you don't come back to me smelling like liquor and menthols and shit, I mean stuff like that. You let that man climb on top of you. You let that man rearrange your insides and rearrange your guts and stuff like that and push your tonsils further back in, the, in your throat. Go to him. Go to him. Now here's the thing. This is how you operate from a position of weakness. 
you know this person cheating with you and you overlook their you know their behavior and reward their bad behavior what you think you they're gonna do to you in the future we don't tolerate disrespect how the old saying it goes you give somebody an inch they're gonna take a mile if you overlook their bad behavior what you think they're gonna do again you have to punish people i'm trying not to curse you have to punish people and show them that you mean business and the ultimate way you show them is you take your attention away from them forever forever there's no temporary i'm gonna stop talking to them for three months no because they might be patient they might have somebody entertaining them for three months and you ignoring them they don't give a shit they don't care all they gotta do is just you know call you up and you you probably hurt and still talking to them. If they cheat, cut them off forever. No remorse, none of that stuff. How can you have any kind of, how can you have a heart for a person who don't have no remorse and don't even care if you living or breathing? So the more of this video is this, we do not wait for someone to backtrack and come back to us. No, not at all. We don't wait. If they want space and all that stuff, let them go, let them go. Like I said, if they want to go, let them go. It's by choice, not by force. You can't force them to stay. You can't put a pistol to their forehead or tie them up and say, oh, you got to stay with me. It's by choice, not by force. They're going to leave anyway. They come gone. So with that being said, if you need to get in contact with me, you can shoot me an email. The email here is right here on the bottom of the page. Or you can text me worldwide on WhatsApp. Um, the number is here on the page also. You can also check out my books. You know, I got my books right here, y'all. Hold up, y'all. I keep one on me. See that? Check out my books. This is my latest book. I'm working on my new one now. Check out my book. On Amazon, go to Amazon, put in Warren McFadden book. This is my latest book, Painkiller. I go into details about these things. We don't wait for nobody. You gotta, you know, like my other book said, carry yourself like you're the prize. You know, you know, carry yourself like you're the prize. Now, with that being said, take care of yourself, stay prayed up, you know, and face your fear. Fear is an illusion. Some people have the fear of loss, but when you really, really look at it and examine, examine it and look at the bigger picture, you're really not losing it, anything. As long as you have God on your side, you have everything you need. Now, with that being said, peace. Take care of yourself. Yeah.